Good morning. I came across my collection of cropped hoodies that I cut. I have no zip tops that are big enough, but this will do. I was due to have a sinus surgery on Wednesday to fix my deviated septum. Thanks to the guy, the commenter that actually let me know I had one. I genuinely didn't know I had one. I went to the doctor and they're like, yeah, let's fix it. Can't get that now, obviously, because I can't really go under with a broken collarbone. The mornings are tough because I need to eat before I can take a painkiller. Ooh, man, 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 oh man. I didn't take a painkiller since last night, so it hurts. All right, let's make some cereal. If there's one thing I love, oh, it's cereal. Sorry about the wonky angle I'm using my knees as a tripod. Update. Get off me, Millie, please, get off me. Today is a bad day. Today is worse than yesterday. And last night, I was doing so well that I thought, oh, maybe I'll be able to go back to work soon. I can't get comfortable. And today, it's not my arm hurting, it's the actual collarbone. And that didn't hurt at all yesterday. But fuck me, it's so sore today. If I get it just the right spot, I get a bit of relief. Excuse the jaunty camera angle, I'm using like an upside down bowl as a tripod. But Millie has been very, very needy today. She kept trying to do this, see where she has her two paws on my good collarbone. She kept trying to do that on my fucking bad collarbone. Which is crazy, because the other night she was acting like a guard in between me and Alex. She was in between me and Alex and kicking the shit out of him any time he tried to roll closer to me. So I felt like she knew there was something wrong with me. She's really anxious and growling a lot. I don't understand why that is. She's growling and barking at every little noise she hears outside, which is super, super annoying. The reason that she's this needy for attention is because I hurt myself on Thursday. So she hasn't been W'd since Thursday. We're very lucky in that even though she's an energetic dog, she doesn't go mental. She just gets really, really clingy. It could be worse. The poor D-O-W-G-Y needs a W-A-L-K big time. Because uh, my collarbone can't take much more of you trying to sit on it. Alex's mum just rang me there. She's going to call over with some lunch. I just, Alex's mum just left and I just wanted to like give her a quick shout out for what legend she is. So she cleaned the kitchen and she also made me a sandwich Show me flowers. Isn't that lovely? I'm married to someone who's allergic to flowers. So I don't get flowers very often. That's lovely. That's so sweet. I got this hoodie so I could wear it in the Tri Channel videos. I love to wear really cool things in the Tri Channel videos. Three years ago, and it was actually when I had my broken wrist the first time. I asked people to send me tat from America and they actually sent me loads of amazing like hoodies and t-shirts from obscure football teams, obscure sports teams or not so obscure like really big sports teams like Houston Rockets and like Michigan Spartans. That's become a sort of key part of my wardrobe over the last three years. And then as a result I wear it a lot in the Tri Channel videos and I found that people really react to that stuff. I have a t-shirt that got sent to me from San Francisco which says I think it says Ride the Slut, but it stands for South Lake Union Trolley and it was like a fundraising t-shirt, I think, was the explanation I was given. Um, and people went mental for that t-shirt when I wore it in one of the Tri Channel videos. And my Savannah Bananas hoodie that I keep talking about, how much I love, that one people go mental for when I wear it in Tri Channel videos. So like, I just want more really niche American sporting stuff. And this is the only one that I could find on Amazon. People gave me loads of really good suggestions, but a lot of the rest of them, I actually, they were too niche, couldn't find them on Amazon. I do really want a Los Angeles dirt bags uh, jumper. If you have any suggestions for any more of these hilarious things, let me know and I'll see if I can find them on Amazon. If you have any niche ones in your like state or anything or your local area and you wouldn't mind sending me one, Please do, and I'll wear them when the Tri Channel videos. I absolutely love this stuff. It's just, it's so unusual, so different. Like, no one's going to have, no one else in Ireland has a Savannah Bananas hoodie, and no one else in Ireland is going to have an El Paso Chihuahuas hoodie. Okay, I'm going to go watch Pitch Perfect 3. I've been bombing through the Pitch Perfects. Here's his over here. Thank you. What is it? Philly cheesesteak. What does that mean? Steak sandwich? Mm-hmm. Why do you keep calling a Philly cheese stick? Yes, that's what it is. Look at that cheese selection. So when Alex's mum come over, check out what she brought me. Not just yogurts, but an actual cheese selection, which is amazing. The only thing that would make this better. 
as if I was allowed to drink wine right now. What a brilliant second mammy. Like, it's, it's absolutely br I can't get over that. That is the best nursing ever. Flowers on a selection cheese board. I'm telling you. She stepped up her game. <laughs> Everyone else needs to give up. We're watching my friend's short film that I'm in. There I am. We just watched the vlog that went up just there now on my channel and Alex has given out that it ended too soon but we had to end it too soon because we were having issues with Premier Rush. It's very annoying. Um, but today I'm going to make an effort to end the vlog properly and say goodnight. There's actually loads of video ideas I want to do with you Alex, like Q&A. Will I get people to ask questions and we'll do a Q&A tomorrow. <laughs> so ask any questions you want down in the comments below.